All right, we got the Maslow CNC kit here, fresh out of the mail. So um, you open it up, you get this double-sided sheet that gives you some information and a, a material list of what's in the box and some instructions, and it's pretty simple. Um, so open it up, there's some data cables, um, there's the USB cables uh, to connect to your computer. Um, there's lots of little bags that are labeled. That's the Z-axis bag of uh, materials. There's um, there's just lots of little bags of stuff. Um, in doing research for the CNC on how to make it, um, I don't remember seeing any of this stuff on previous videos on how to put this Maslow together. And so I think when they came out with this new kit, um, they've redone how they've they have repackaged things differently. Um, so you've got just lots of little bags full of different screws and nuts and zip ties and bungee cords. There's the chain. There's just all these little individual bags and they're, they're labeled and it's very organized and really neat. Uh, I just wish I knew what they all went to. If you go to the assembly guide on the Maslow website, it's got all the instructions for the old kit. It doesn't tell you what bag is for what part of the Maslow. Uh, there's a power cord. Uh, there's various brackets. Uh, they're all blue, powder coated, really cool looking. Uh, there's the first motor, the X axis, X axis motor. There's the Y axis. And then we should have the Z axis as well, which is a little bit smaller than the other two. And it's all packaged up with bubble wrap, so it's nice and comfy. Uh, this is funny, the, this box with the Adreno was labeled Brain, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, made me laugh. There's some Bojangles. Uh, more brackets. Really the rest of the box are these, these brackets um, to connect the router and the motors to the, to the rig that you have set up. Oh, that box has more power cords. Some other stuff. And then there's this big bracket um, that's that's to mount the router. There's a USB flash drive um, with some information on it as well. For a CNC, there's just there's not a lot in the box. So uh, I mean, it really is a do-it-yourself kind of project. So you got to go to the hardware store. So I ran down to the Home Depot and picked up some two by fours and some plywood and got ready to to build this rig. So for the rig. You need some 2x4s, some plywood, and a couple bricks. Uh, when you're selecting your 2x4s, uh, it's important to make sure you look down the edge of them, make sure they're not crowning too much and not bowing all crazy like. Um, it doesn't matter a ton, they don't have to be perfect because your, your 4x8 sheet of plywood is going to make up for any imperfections in your rig. Um, you really just need that top bar where the motors sit. Uh, to be level and, and straight. Uh, we opted on accident to go with the bolted uh, rig as opposed to the default rig. Uh, make sure you're choosing which uh, rig you want to go with. Um, make sure you don't make the same mistake that we did. Um, the bolted rig's fine. We're going to make a bunch of modifications to it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So we got our wood, got our stuff, uh, we needed to get some bricks, couldn't find regular bricks, we just got concrete bricks, I don't think that's going to matter too much, they're about the same weight as normal bricks, so it doesn't really matter too much. And that's it really, you just need the 2x4s, some plywood, and some bricks, and you're ready to go to build your rig.